Hi and welcome to another T-Board how-to video. In this video I'll be talking about the PAL widget and show you how to add it to OBS. And in case you are using XSplit, you are currently out of luck as the widget does not work with XSplit. In the Paul widget view, at the very top right, you'll see two icons. One is the preview icon, the other is the folder location icon. Clicking on the preview opens up the widget in a new window, and clicking on the folder icon opens the location. Let me move this a little bit, make it a bit smaller. Okay. If you look at the path, you'll notice that it's in your user documents, and that's where all the widgets are stored. When I go up a folder to Paul, you'll notice that there's another folder here called OBS-JS. This is a JavaScript version of the Paul, and we'll have a look at that later on. In this folder, there's also a text file that contains the same information but in text format, so you can add this as a uh, text source in OBS or XSplit. At the top of the poll, you'll see two things listed, uh, namely the uh, chat channel that you will join once you connect to the Twitch uh, chat server, and the status, so whether you're currently connected or not. As you can see, I'm currently not connected, and to connect to the chat, I simply toggle this on. And now it says that I'm connected and I have joined the Twitch chat room. Then of course we have the actual poll, which has a question that you want to ask your viewers and by default has two options that they can vote on. So if you want to conduct a poll on your stream, you simply type in the question you want to ask. Like that, and then you change the options. Mm, let's see. Change the keyword that people need to type in to vote for that option. I'm just gonna name that next. Uh, what other game do we have? Uh, let's do that. Dragon Age. And change that to Dragon. Note that if I now unfocus the keyword uh, text input field, it will automatically uh, prefix it with a hashtag if one is missing. So if I switch to this, there we go. So it now prefixed dragon with a hashtag. And you cannot remove it. Well, I can remove it, but as soon as I unfocus, it will add it again. And uh, this is done on purpose so that uh, it's easier to check uh, messages coming through chat. So I only have to check messages that start with a hashtag and then I know that they're most likely a poll vote. Also note that keywords cannot contain spaces. So if I would change this to something like EQ space next, if I unfocus that, it will remove the space. Adding another option is pretty simple. Just click on the plus sign, and fill in the game. Uh, in this case, it's a game. There we go. Now, when I click apply, you'll notice that the preview has reloaded. The height of the widget has automatically changed and adjusted. And I'm good to go. I can now, for instance, click on the test button and this will um, create some random votes uh, every five seconds for about 30 seconds, I think. So as you can see, I can now see the voting here and in the preview at the same time. If I click apply again, it stops the test. Uh, clicking apply also resets the voting, so be careful with that. Once you have your poll set up and you have clicked apply and people are starting to vote, uh, it's best not to click apply again because then all the votes will be gone. Then at the very bottom, you have two more options. One is show voting results on stream. So by default, it is off. So when you start a poll, you 
most likely don't want to show the results immediately. You just want people to vote. And what you will see then in the uh, widget is only the number of people that have voted, the results will be missing. And uh, once you toggle this on, it will immediately show the voting results. Then the last option here is enable voting, which well, does what it says. It then starts checking for votes and will count them. So let's now see this in action. I will enable the voting and then in my chat client, I will type dragon or hashtag dragon. And as you can see, there is now one vote and there is 100% for Dragon Age. Because I have so voting results on stream turned off, I cannot see it here. As soon as I turn this on, there are the votes. Also, I can only vote once. So if I would try to vote again, Dragon, or maybe like a different one, for instance, what was the other one? Drift. You see, the votes do not come through because I have already voted. So let's now look at how to add all of this to OBS. I have already added the text file as a global source. It says here global text. If I look at the properties, it points to the pol.txt file within Tboard widgets pol. And it is set to scroll, and I gave it some color and the font size, etc. Click on OK. So I have then added it. So add global source, global poll text. And if I now enable it, you can see it scrolling over here. Next, I'm going to add the widget itself. So I'm going to add a CLR browser call it poll widget now browse to the obs folder select the html file click on open and now set to width and height um, let me move this aside a bit i want to add it on top of this over here and I happen to know that this is uh, 1280 pixels wide. I'm going to set this to 1280. And the height should be either the height of the uh, widget with the three options, or I can just select, for instance, 720, which is the exact height of this frame here. Click on OK. You can see it initializing already, edit scene, and I'll just move it on top of this. Let's now run a quick test. Note that even though the um, show voting results on stream is off, clicking the test will still show the voting results because, well, it's a test. Just have to wait for the numbers to go through. I can see them here in Tboard, I can see them in the preview here, and I can see them on stream. Note, votes are not included in the text file. There is no option to do so as well. Okay, let's reset that, click on apply. Let's now vote, as you can see, I have the chat widget here. On my other monitor, I'll quickly, of course, I need to enable the voting. And let's now vote on, let's try that, dragon. So as you can see, I voted. There is one vote, there is no results shown. If I now click on show results, you can now see the results in OBS on the stream. So the text file, like I said a minute ago, I added this as a global text. So if I now switch to another scene, you'll see the text here as well. So this would, for instance, be uh, the game that I'm playing. So while I'm playing the game, instead of having the full widget, I can just have it as a text and people uh, can see what they need to do to vote. As mentioned earlier in the video, there's an HTML CSS JavaScript version of the poll. 
And an easy way to get there is to click on the folder icon at the top right. Go one folder up. You should see a folder called OBS-JS. Open that up and open the HTML file in your browser. There we go. And if I now click the test button in Gboard, you should see the results in a few seconds. There we go. And so this is the same as uh, the normal widget. But if you happen to know HTML, CSS and or JavaScript, you can easily modify this and make it look completely different or even make uh, like add charts like a pie chart or a bar chart or whatever you want to do. So let's go ahead and see if we can mess this up a bit. I'm going to make a copy of the original and rename it like so. Then I'll open this up in Dreamweaver. Uh, you can do this in any HTML editor. Uh, even You can even do it in Notepad. So I'm just going to simply change a few colors. So let's see. Let's make, give it a red border. Then change this background color. Now, let's see. Okay, so this is for the light and the dark backgrounds for each option. So this is the light, this is the dark. Let's change those colors as well. Um, Okay, so in these three, uh, define the colors of the uh, text for the options. So these colors here, let's change those to black. Okay, now let's see what that looks like. There we go. I never said I would make it pretty. So and in any case, like you just change a few colors and you go from this to this. Let's switch to OBS. So I still have the normal widget here. Let's swap this out for our HTML version. So I go up one folder, OBS-JS. I'm going to pick the copy that I just made, open it up. I'm going to leave the dimensions so the width and the height stay the same click on ok and there we go i have my ugly <laughs> pole uh, ready to go <laughs> so there you have it the t-board pole widget in a nutshell thanks for watching and until next time